So many people love the look of a digital camera. Well, this look is easy to achieve. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Corey from CNS Media and today we'll be going over how to recreate the digital camera look in After Effects. First, we need to make the composition settings 534 by 400. Drop your clip into the timeline and resize it to your liking. Duplicate the clip twice so you have a total of three clips on your timeline. Change the top layer's blending mode to luminosity and do the same with the bottom layer. Change the middle layer's blending mode to color. In the effects, look for brightness and contrast and attach it to your middle layer. Change the brightness to 10, but it's all dependent on the feel that you're trying to go for. Next, add noise to the middle layer. Bring it up to around 20 to 30%. Add the directional blur and change the direction function to 90 and also change the blur length to 30. With your top layer selected, add noise and black and white and change the noise function to around 7%. Copy and paste the effects on this layer to the bottom layer. With the bottom layer now selected, add a directional blur effect to it. Change the blur direction to 90 and the blur length to seven. To help sell this effect even further, we're gonna wanna create a frame. Create a new solid and make the color white. Add a gradient ramp to that white solid. Change the start of the ramp on the right side to 131. Also, change the end of the ramp on the right side to 131. Change the start of the ramp on the left side to zero and change the end of the ramp on the left side to 4.5. Change the blending mode of the solid to multiply. Select all layers and pre-comp them. Go into the comp settings and change it to 768 by 576. Select the pre-comp layer, right click, transform, and fit to comp size. Make a new adjustment layer, add a fast box blur with the blur radius set to one and the iterations set to three. Click on the repeat edge pixels function. Add an unsharp mask to the adjustment layer. Push the amount to 100 and the radius to four. Next, add grain. Make sure the viewing mode is on final output. Make the intensity around 0.2 and the rest of the functions at one. Next, we will add a wave warp. Select smooth noise as your wave type. Make the wave height three. Make the wave width 40. Set pinning to all edges and anti-aliasing to high. And now you've just made the popular Digicam look. If you learned anything new from this tutorial, please like, comment, and subscribe as I'm releasing some new videos in the near future. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.